Alright guys, so in today's tutorial we're gonna be making a flip phone. I'm not gonna be going into pretty much details, it's just about having a basic knowledge of how we can make it and how we can rig. So without wasting much of our time, let's get straight into it. So if I press A to select everything and press delete to delete everything by default scene. I'm going to press shift A and I'm just going to add in a cube. So I'm just going to press SZ to scale it on the Z axis um, like this. I'm going to press SX to scale it on the X axis a bit as well. I'm going to press SY to scale it on the Y axis. I just want to increase the um, thickness to allow about something like this. Yeah, I think something like this is good. Then I can scale it on the X axis a bit and then on the Z a little bit as well. Sorry in case um, you hear background noise because of where I'm working. So if I press um, tab to go into edit mode, selecting the cube, I just want to go into this uh, mode now and I'm just going to press Ctrl R to add a loop cut here. The reason why we're adding loop cut here is because this is the point where we're going to create the rig. So we need to create a loop cut here now. And what I want to do now is go to edit select mode by pressing 2 on my key um, board. And I'm just going to select um, these two, these four edges right here. So I'm going to select this. We select this. Um, we select these two edges here as well. And what I will do is I will just press Control B to bevel this. So um, you can increase the number of segments with your mouse till you have a good bevel. So I'm comfortable with this. I'm not going to go into the settings except for turn the segments to three. And I'm just going to tab out. And here you have your basic phone. So you can increase the with a bit like this as well now what we can do next is go straight into the button so if i tap back into edit mode again go to face select press shift s2 cursor selected tab out again press shift a and i'm just going to select cube then i'm going to scale it inwards because this is going to serve as our button so if i scale this down again what i want now is just to press gz to grab it up so about this point here then sz to scale so this is our button right here so you can scale it on the x-axis or the y sorry a bit just to make it more thinner and uh, yeah i think this is okay actually or oh, i think it's too much so i just want to scale it on the z-axis x-axis then i can duplicate this now going into edit mode i can press tab and i'm just going to press shift d x or z rather and I'm just going to scale this. Now you can see that I've gone above the bubble point. So you don't want to like to go above here. So I'm just going to press L to select both. And then just press GZ to grab. And then I can scale it on the Z axis as well. So this is what we have. So I can tap back now. Select only this one right here. And press GZ to grab up. Scale it on the Y axis a little bit. I want to make it thinner than this. Then what I can do now is tap back again into edit mode go to front view select um this one alone and just press it d x and i'm just going to move it to um this side so we have one here and the other one here so checking reference images i saw something like this i don't know what this one serves for so if i tab out of edit mode i can go to my modifiers panel and just add the bevel modifier and what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, increase the amount and the segment as well just to bevel this out a bit then you can shade it smooth and uh, there you go so that's our button basically right there so the next thing i'm going to do now is um we can actually start the rigging process but before we do that let's create uh let's create the screen and every other detail so if i press um three to go to face select hold down shift select this face right here so if i press i to insert the face shift i again to do it um around this area here i just want to insert it something about here and what i'll do next is i'll just press e and then i'm just going to extrude inwards a bit yes so i can tap out of edit mode now next thing is you can go into building the um cameras and everything so tap back into edit mode press 3 um to go to face select shift s cursor to select it we can tab out of edit mode and what we can do is we can press shift a and we're going to add basically a circle 
and change it, uh, rotate it 90 degrees on the x axis, then the radius as well, um, reduce it. So, going into the back view, what we want to do essentially now is just um, still reduce the radius of, uh, to something about here. This is a uh, serve as a camera bit. So, we're just going to press GX to scale it on the x to move it on the x axis and use it to grab it up a bit. So, what I'll do is tab into edit mode now. I'm going to tab into edit mode and then I'm just going to go to vertex mode, although it doesn't matter. Press E to extrude, then right click to within position, S to scale inwards because it's going to serve as a camera rim. Don't need to be too much though. Then, with that done now, what you just need to do next is press A to select everything and then just press E to extrude um, like this. Let me check with my side view. I think, I think that's okay. I think that's okay for camera. Um, uh, you can just scale it a bit. Don't want it to be too big because it's just the camera. It's not the main feature. Then I can just press GY to grab this out a little bit. And what I can do next is select all and just press Shift S2 cursor to select it. Then we want to tab out. What we want to do next is make our lens. So Shift A mesh, add in a UV sphere. It's way too big, so reduce it on the X axis or scale it inward sorry and then just scale it on the y we want it to be flat like this then gy to grab it inwards then tab into edit mode um i think yeah we have something like that so you can just press sy in case it's feeling too small then gy to just take it inwards so for the lens i want um two lenses because i want them to be of different um um, spectrum scene when I'm seeing them. So what I'll do is pressing or Z now. I'm just going to press Shift D, and then snap it to position, and then I'm just going to scale it inwards. So this will be of a slightly different material than the main lens, just to have like this. I think lens have like this um, thing when if you look at that certain point, you are seeing that uh, different color. So that's just what we want to do. So again, what we're going to do next is basically we're going to press Shift A to add in. Um, another circle again, rotate it by 90 degrees on the X axis, then reduce the radius to something about uh, this point here. So you don't want it to be touching um, too much. You can press GY to take it inwards like this. So what you want to do next is basically you're just going to press E, Y to extrude it forward. You have to be careful not to make it in. Um, with the rim, we don't want them to be equal. So what to we'll do next is go to face select mode, and what you would do is basically you should just select um, Shift Alt and select these faces right here. Press Alt E and extrude along normals. So you want to extrude it towards the length. Yeah. So we have this now. So if you go back to vertex mode now, you want to press Shift Alt to select this vertex here, and then just press GY to grab it towards the length again. So we repeat the first step again. So you just select this face here, Shift Alt to select these faces, Alt E along normals, and then just scale it towards um, the length basically. Then you can select vertex mode again and just select this vertex and just press GY. So this will serve as the base to hold the lens. So here is the camera here. Now we can select this and just press right click shade auto smooth then for this one here you can just shade this one smooth same with the lens you can shade it smooth so what we can do now is select everything and select the rim last one and just press ctrl p object keep transform then we can shift d this z to um, duplicate our camera this will serve as our second camera then what i can do now is to create the flash i can simply just select this um one right here and the rim and I just can just press shift D Z and then what I will do is I will scale this a bit because it's the flash it's not the camera so um, what I will do next is uh, I'll select this right now I'll select the rim sorry instead I'll select let's do that again I'll select the rim alone or the lens alone because it's printed to it so you have to select it alone now just scale it forward like um, this. Then you can press GY to bring it out a bit. 
so this will be for the flash i'm looking at side view i just want to see if um the camera is not overshadowing the phone yes it's not so the next thing we want to do is tab into edit mode um go to the back of the phone and what you want to do is um just to create some main piece here so you can press shift d to duplicate this and then just scale it on the z axis scale it inwards as well then just press gz to grab up like this this will serve as the um the matte glossy or the glossy filter part of the phone when we create that so what you can do now is press um shift s cursor to select it tab out of edit mode the next thing you want to do is press shift a i want to add in a plane so rotate it by 90 degrees on the x axis then um go to your back view again then you can scale this s z to just scale this like this gz to grab down and then just s x uh, a bit like this SZ again just want it to serve as this will serve as the cover screen at the back of the phones because I guess that's what you do now looking at reference images I saw that um, the phones add like this display screen the folds now I should check out Samsung website I think they have the best um, flip phone so far um, disclaimer they didn't pay me to say that I just thought I should okay so now the next thing we want to do now is basically we want to parent um, everything else to the phone because it's going to be very important so first thing i'm going to do is select everything right click and just set origin to geometry then Control a to apply scale then we can go ahead with um parenting um everything else to the phone so if i select everything else like this um shift to okay let me just zoom in shift to select this and also this i'm um, sorry for the noise and lastly you just want to select the phone and just press ctrl p object keep transform then you can also select shade auto smooth for the phone as well now so we have the camera we have the phone we have everything printed the next thing we want to do now is we want to add um the rig so at this point i will advise that you select everything and you duplicate so if i press shift d now to duplicate this i'm just going to press m to move this to a new collection you can name it whatever you like duplicate and um whatever just to be on the safer side in case you made a mistake with the first one so this selected now we have everything we can now start the rigging process so um what i'll basically do is i'll press shift s and one because also selected and i just want to select the phone and tab into edit mode so we want um the phone to basically fold over um at this point here and get my one it of like 180 degrees at this point here so to do that what we're gonna do is basically we are firstly going to create a vertex group then we're going to apply um we're going to use the bone to deform it so the first thing i'm going to do is press 2 to go to edge select mode i'm just going to press shift alt to select this inner ring right here and i'm just going to press ctrl b to bevel and i'm just going to reduce the number of bevel to three so having that now okay i will change the segments to three having that now what i want to do is i'll right click and i will subdivide here so subdivide and i'm just going to press sz to scale this up so now we can add in our bone modifier so to do that what you're going to do is press shift a you're just going to go to your armature and you're just going to select armature so we we'll use the bone to deform everything else so to do that again um simple just select um the phone and um select the bone and just press ctrl p um with automatic weight now what you observe is if i rotate the bone now every other thing else follows so we want um the bone to basically deform um the phone we want the phone to float in half but now you can see it's not folding in half yet that's because we don't have a vertex group created for it to move yet so what we're gonna do basically is tabbing into edit mode make sure uh select the phone just press alt z 
you can go to vertex mode we want to create a vertex group to apply the bone to so if i just click and drag over up to this extent halfway i'm just going to come to this vertex group here and then i'm just going to create a new vertex group and i'm just going to select this group and click assign not the bone the group click assign so if you tab out of edit mode again or see to go to solid view select your modifier now you can see now that the phone already has um the amateur modifier you just want to select vertex group and select group not bone but group so if i select my amateur now and i go to pose mode the phone should be automatically um the form so if i press r you can see now that we have a folding phone so if i just bring up my properties by and i press um 180 you can see that it's fold in half so if you go straight to zero you have this if you press 180 you have this but you will observe that um the camera bits and every everything else here is not following um with um the phone you can see that the camera they are left behind so we need to fix that so what you need to do is basically go into object mode and you have to select individually so everything has to be set to with automatic weight now you have to do this carefully to ensure that everything is selected because you don't want to make any mistake because anyone left out uh, i doubt if you'll be able to do it again so if you select um individually now uh, okay hold down shift and then just select like this um select this as well um select the buttons select the buttons and if i press g now yeah everything is selected then select the bone now finally okay let's do that again let me just be sure that everything is selected um uh, yeah so everything selected then select the bone i'm um, sorry hold down shift click on the bone then set it to with automatic weight as well so if you go to pose mode now um and you press r you have a phone in half so yeah we have this now so if i press alt r to clear it you can see we have the phone now i observed one thing about um the fold phones they kind of have like this um inch part where they fold so we're going to try and make that as well just to hide um this bit right here so what i'm gonna do essentially is go back to object mode select the phone and what we'll do is that we'll basically um press shift a cause also selected and we'll add in curve we're going to add in busier curve so um if we tab into edit mode you can see the curves are selected so you can press s y zero to make sure that they are properly aligned we want them to be aligned like this then if i tab out what i want just want to do now is press gz to grab down a bit up to this midway here um where you have the phone folding in half then tab back into edit mode again then you can just go to front view or z i want this um part here gx to be along this side then i want this other side as well gx to be along this side so you can scale inwards like this now the next thing we're going to do is basically we're going to go to the geometry panel here and then we're just going to give this um the depth sorry for the noise i deeply apologize once again i'm at home so if i press shift x um here we're just going to create like this little inch here so what i want to do is go back to my side um side view here and what i'll do is basically i'll press g y to just grab this in a bit because you can not actually see the inch with um the font so i'm just going to press gz to grab up uh so i think this is perfect like this now you can press a uh, few caps to fill it up then the next thing i'm going to do is you're just going to turn up the resolution to like eight just to make it look a little bit smoother then what you can do is you can press g x to move it on the x side because i think they, they move out a bit so you have um, something 
yeah, something pretty much like this now if we go back to side view uh, what you will observe is that uh, we want we're going to select this now and what we'll do is you can press um, shift D to duplicate this again M and move it to duplicate um, the duplicate won't be showing in the render so you don't have to be disturbed about that so now okay I've not done that M then you move it to duplicate no not this one sorry I've done it uh, I'm stressed okay so if you press um, what we want to do now since you create a duplicate just right click what you want to do is convert to mesh so I want to convert this one to mesh now I've done it already so next thing I want to do is I just want to select this side right here I just want to press GY to bring it out a bit GY to bring it out up to this extent then press S Y 0 because if you check um, the flip phones you know that they have this set um, kind of back so you have it right there and the next thing we're just going to do is you can shade this smooth as well so if we select our amateur again um, go to pose mode let's just see how it's going to look like now okay I've not um, set um, this also with automatic width so select this right now shift ctrl P set it to with automatic width so if you go to pose mode now and you rotate this as well yeah so if you set this to N and you select um, 180 yes you can see this side has covered it so this is just going to serve as the inch so if I go back to um, zero um, we have this right here so actually I think we should fix this as well so if we go back to object mode what we basically want to do is um, if you select this now and tap into edit mode back we just want to um, press or Z select this and just press GY to bring it out a bit um, like so then you can scale in what to you okay well right. let's do that again you can scale on the z-axis inwards so you have something similar to this then you can press gy to bring it back a bit because i feel like okay so um you can just press gz to grab up to cover the inch side and i think we should be good to go so if you go back to um selecting the amateur now if you go back to pose mode um, and I set it to 180 I just want to see how it's gonna look like um, yeah you know what let's just um, leave it the way it is you know, let's just um, yeah I think it's, it's okay like this I can just scale it on the z-axis a bit not too much but a bit and this will serve as the inch it won't really show because we'll be covering it up and yeah yeah so that's just about um, the basic rigging so in the next part we're gonna be making um, the animation and materials